going into an eighth run. I thought this battle would have been over a long time ago. I don't know about you, but my nerves are shot. After a blind attack and a modified gutter run? I wish I could have seen the look on Godarm's face when he saw what was happening. Me too, that must have really thrown a monkey wrench into his plans. But we knew Takami was capable of the modified gutter run, and if we knew it, then so did he. So what was keeping him from pulling that move earlier in the race? Maybe he was just holding back until it all got too tough for him. No, you're wrong. The truth is, he probably couldn't have pulled it off earlier even if he'd wanted to. He was completely under his opponent's control. Before then, he lacked the fortitude to do anything on his own. He'd lost the grip on his tires. He was at the edge of defeat. It was that moment that allowed him to push himself for the first time. You could say it was like Takami's escape from paralysis. Sure, that makes sense. This is where things get tough. Joshim isn't so slack on the road that he'd let himself be fooled by the same trick twice. This is turning south. An endurance battle won't go well for us. If that's what this is, we're done for. Joshima won't lose. He can't lose. The guy's a perfectionist like you don't know. He tries to use his brain to win, and to do that, he sticks to his plan. I'm just hoping that the monkey wrench this kid threw in the works doesn't destroy his concentration. still a total wreck. All I can do now is gun it and put as much distance between us as I can. It's not flashy, but it should work. I've got to do this before fatigue kills my focus. I have one run left in me. I'll pull out my time attack line. How many runs deep are we? Seven? No, this has got to be eight. Damn it. I am not going to lose this guy. This is wearing the hell out of me, but it's got to be just as tough on him. After burning this much road time, the mechanical problems of the 8.6 start to become a real concern. I mean, what with her being an older model car and all. I wouldn't worry about that. The 8.6 is a rock. A boatload of time and money has been poured into that beauty's maintenance. She could take 20 downhills and she wouldn't miss a beat. Makes me feel better. The only thing I'm worried about is the modified gutter run that uses the curve. It's different from the gutters in Akina. All the stress here goes into the suspension. It's not good for him to use it over and over. But Fujiwara is smart. I'm sure he's figured that out. I don't know. If that's the way he's got to win this race, then he'll do it. It might just be a risk worth taking. I'm impressed. Smooth ride. She's got power and she's fun. You can really feel the difference in stability with that four-wheel drive anchoring her. No wonder Takami's been so down lately. I'd be in a slump too if I had to switch between this and the 8.6. He's been whining about a slump and he might be right. But all that tells me is he still has a long way to go. The mountain pass at Akina is a good, solid home course. Between it and the 8.6, Takami should develop a grounded outlook on racing that'll give him the chance to lock down his technique. It's the perfect training ground. Well, it obviously worked. In less than a year, he managed to master what it takes most guys five or more to get down. Sure did. And now we finally reached the point on the spectrum where we need to start working seriously on his technique. Nothing specific, but teaching him to think broader and be tougher and find the well-rounded racer I know is inside him. I mean, for starters, you know this, in a battle there's no such thing as an absolute standard. Mm-hmm. 
Like when you pick the line you're driving, there might be a perfect one on paper, but in reality, you get out there and there could be a dozen possible lines. It depends on a hundred different things. Of course. Not to oversimplify, but the dog fights a battle of who can take away the most lines from his opponent. If you can kick out your opponent's line while holding your own, he'll be too busy trying to fix his position to pass you. That's an excellent point. A true driver can use whatever line he wants. All I'm doing right now is opening Takumi's mind to adaptability. It's the best way I know to get him started on different techniques. It's taken some time, but you can't deny there have been results. He's not even the same person he was before. Sounds like he's changing so much it's bordering on scary. Kind of, but still. Kid has a long way to go. This is weird. There's something different about this run. I've never paid much attention to my lines during a race. That's a rookie thing. I focus on using the tires full potential and trying for the best possible time. When I first started to practice my one-handed steering, I realized that as long as I did everything I could to save my tires, I'd always log the same times, regardless of the line. So whenever I was in a challenging street race, I would always pick whichever line I felt used my tires most efficiently. And there's my record line right there. To me, lines aren't the objective, just the result of an excellent run. I'm seeing something amazing happen right now. If you want to be fast on the mountain, you have to be able to haul your ass into a corner with no hesitation at all. How well you know the course matters almost as much as how well you handle the pressure you're feeling. If you're gonna be the faster driver, Course knowledge is a basic point, and a big one. That's the reason I've put so much emphasis on practice with our expeditions lately. Wouldn't that mean that the other drivers we've raced have always had the advantage since we've been racing on their home courses? Of course. Even more so in a race between technique-driven drivers. In that case, knowing the course can become a weapon, one that's impossible to defend against. So what do you think happens tonight? An endurance test. And the person who snaps first is the loser. He's pulling away from me? I don't get it. How is he doing that? What am I doing wrong? The goal is close. I'm gonna lose. Almost there. I lose this kid now and it's all mine. Damn it, I can hardly focus on the road. Just a little farther. I've got to do something, anything. I'm running out of time. up his speed control when he jumped that curb. The suspension isn't responding. It's gone. I lost.
I cannot believe that's how you lost. I'm sorry, man. Look, I'm not making excuses, but maybe it has something to do with this heat wave we've been having. My appetite hasn't been normal lately. I suspect it's all this pressure that has my stomach in knots. But I never would have thought I'd throw up. And in the middle of a race, no less. I say you should have just kept puking all over yourself and made it to the finish line. It's not like you had much farther to go. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say. My concentration was blown before I knew it. The fatigue hit me like water crashing through a busted dam. That was it. I was out. I didn't know you were hurting so bad. I honestly didn't expect the race to last as long as it did. I planned to end at a run earlier. Guess we saw how well that worked. They stuck me with God as a nickname. But I'm just a middle-aged loser trying to keep my youth intact. 